Good m oh no, I almost slipped. It's good afternoon, everyone. This bird's been in meetings today on the computer, so I'm a little behind. But good afternoon. Kaylin, Michael, Patrick, Aurelin, RJ, John, Nevea, Chloe, Zachary, Dominic, Spencer, Reed, Kellen, Olivia, Jenna, Caden, Sadie, Mikhail, Victoria, Paige, Cody, Kira, and the magnificent Logan. Good afternoon. Today, I want to talk algebra. Oh my goodness, you're saying, what's algebra? Uh, ask your parents. No, they'll get a look on their hands like, oh, algebra, yikes. Well, algebra is just simply finding the missing numbers. Now, there are different ways that you can find missing numbers. Let's have this problem. Seven plus blank equals 13. Now, one way we can do this is to make a number bond. Now, we know with plus, our n number goes by itself. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put 13. All right? So one of its legs has got to be the 7. So that means we do not know what that other leg is. Well, here's one way that Miss Berg likes to do it. I like to count up. I'm going to put 7 in my brain. All of you, get 7 in your brain. 7. Got it? Okay. 7. 8. Because we're trying to get to 13. 9. 10. 11. 12. Oh, I'm not there yet. i got to use my other hand. 13. How many fingers? If you said 6, that's right. So I can put six there. Hmm. Seven plus six equals 13. Now, I could check that, okay? But I don't have 13 fingers. So I'm gonna start with here, seven. And then I add six more, seven. One, two, three more. Oh, I'm gonna use my marker, four. Five. Oh, let's use an eraser too. You gotta use what you got here. You don't want to just go running off trying to figure something out. So if I had seven and then I had six, one, two, three, four, it's 13, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now you know what you guys could use? Rocks. Now you're not gonna bring in a boulder, but you could find a handful of rocks and use those as counters and figure out seven plus six equals 13. Now here's another way you can do the same kind of problem. All right, we already know the answer. I can't just do the same problem for you. So let's try blank plus eight equals 17. Okay, now we remember if it's plus, always start with that biggest number, okay? 17 goes on the top. We're just getting ourselves organized. Number bonds are just organizers. They help, they help us put things where they need to go. 17, now we know one of the other numbers can go here. Does it matter? No, because we know that if we flip them, it's going to be the same answer. We know that. Now, this looks kind of like a subtraction problem to me. Because I remember that we talked about subtraction always starts with the biggest number on top. So let's see if we can flip this and turn it into a subtraction problem to figure out the answer. Okay, 17. And then we can take that away because that's the next step on subtraction. 
So what's 17 minus or subtract 8? Well, if I have 17 donuts, oh, oh, Miss Brooke loves donuts. Oh, tasty, tasty. 17 donuts. And I take eight of them away. Okay? So I'm going to use my feet. Actually, my toes. Probably can't see that. Oh, toes. Toes. And I got 10 there. But I need 17, so I'm going to use my fingers too. Okay. 10, 15, because that's 5, 16, 17. Now I'm going to take 8 away. Well, this is 7 right here. And I got to take one of my toes away. Hmm, how about this little piggy? I took 7, and this little piggy went to market. I'm going to take him away, okay? So that leaves all of this foot and 4 on this one. So it's 5. So it's just like this. Five, and I took this piggy away. How many is that? Yes, nine. It is nine. Oh, this works at school. It's time for lunch. No wonder she's hungry. Nine. 17 minus eight equals nine. Nine plus eight equals 17. That is how you can figure out that problem. Now you say, well, Miss Briggs, that's all well and good. That's addition. But what happens when we get to subtraction? Well, let's figure that out. Okay, here we go. Hmm, let's see. Oh, right. Let's try this one. How about 13? Okay, because there's 13 boys in our class. Hmm. Minus, I don't know what, equals six. If I have 13 boys and some of them left, but six are still here. Well, let's get ourselves organized, okay? So, subtraction always starts with the first number. That's the one that goes by itself, okay? 13. Well, now we know that the legs are coming here. Then we gotta put, yep, you got it, sister. We gotta put six down here. Well, 13, oh, look, 13, and I just take away six, and I'm gonna get this one. Now I can count backwards to subtract. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Thirteen minus seven equals six. Remember, a number bond is just simply a way to get organized. Then you can use your brain and figure out the answer. Let's try one more, okay? Now this is going to get tricky. Let's see if we can do it. Let's say we have some girls in the class. We do, don't we? Well, we have some. That means we put a blank, okay? Blank. If we have some girls in the class and then three of them run to the field. Now there are eight girls left. Well, we had some girls, three of them ran to the field. Now there are eight left. Well, how many girls did we start with? Well, let's get ourselves organized. Do we know what's going to go by itself? No, that's the blank. Yes, you're right. It is the blank. Now, we got the legs. Okay. I'm going to put three. And I'm going to put eight. Well, we know the legs is what you add together to get this. 
So what's three plus eight? Well, I'm gonna start, actually, I'm gonna flip it because we know we can flip it. And I always like to start with a bigger number because I don't have to count so much. Ms. Burke likes to do it the easy way, okay? Eight, nine, 10, 11. 11 here, so that means there was 11 girls to start with. Three of them ran to the field. Now there are eight left. I want you to try some problems at home. See if you can make up a problem like this for your parents to solve. See if they can do that. I want to see if you can teach your parents how to do a number bond. Remember, a number bond is what? That's right. Oh, Victoria, good job. A number bond is just a way to get organized. Okay, bye for now. I'm gonna see you tomorrow when we are going to do some graphing. Nice, bye.